in your glory, Lord. At night in your presence. A night in your presence, Lord. A night in your presence. In time with you. You have the words of eternal life. You have the words, Lord. And Peter said, Yes, so Peter said. Oh, where else can I go? You have the words of eternal life. Yeah. And Peter said, Lord, Peter said, Lord, where else could I go? You have the words of eternal life. You have the words of eternal life. It's a night in your presence. Oh, oh. In your presence and your glory, here we are. Yeah, a night in your presence, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soaking in you, Lord. Soaking in you. Uh, no, 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 no. Peter said. Peter said. Soaking and soaking in your presence, in your presence, in your presence, fullness of joy. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your presence is fullness of joy. And here it is, a night in your presence, Lord. Uh, a night in your presence, cause in your presence is his fullness of joy. Well, in your presence is his fullness of joy. Hey, ow. In your presence is fullness of joy. Walking in your presence. Oh, oh. Walking in your presence, yeah. Living in your presence, Lord. Here it is, here it is, yeah. yeah. Peter said, yes, Peter said, where else can I go? You've got the words of eternal life. You've got the words of eternal life. That the master said can you imagine that she was mary was hanging on every word that the master said i love that translation we're hanging on every word you would speak to us tonight yeah. Yeah. i want you to lift your hands and sing out of the abundance of your spirit, I beg, I could not never say Yeah, oh my God, yeah, like Mary did, we're sitting at your feet. Oh, 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 oh. Like Mary did, we're sitting at your feet. Receive us, Lord. Your sons and daughters have come seeking your face. Oh, oh, oh. seeking your face. Oh, seeking your face, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Like Mary did, we're sitting at your feet. Like Mary did, we're sitting at your feet. Like Mary did, we're sitting at your feet, and check it, hanging on the Master's every word. What? We're hanging on the Master's every word. Speak, Lord. Your sons and daughters were listening. <laughs> hanging on the Master's every word. Sitting, sitting at your feet. 
Jesus sitting at your feet Jesus sitting how precious to be in your presence sitting at your feet sitting at your feet hanging on every word sitting at your feet hanging hanging on every word and I will build my life upon your love it is in you alone and I will not be shaken and I will build my life upon your love it is my firm foundation and I will Put my trust in you alone, and I will not be, I will not be shaken because of your presence. I will not be shaken. We will not be shaken. our trust in you <laughs> I will not we will not be shaken we will not be shaken we will not be shaken now we will not be shaken because we put our faith in trust faith and trust even yet today 2020 one of the weirdest years on the planet ever COVID-19 we don't care because you're worthy of all every song I could sing worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. Do it again, worthy God. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you, Lord. Jesus, the name. Jesus, the name above every other name. I tell you, as we worship tonight, stuff is lifting off of you. I sense the presence really strong. Just go ahead and release. Don't hang on to anything that's been oppressing you, been trapping you. Say, I'm turning it loose tonight. This is a special night of worship. Seeking and soaking and healing is in the air it's in his presence and it's wherever you're at geographically healing rain 
It's pouring down right healing rain. Your healing rain is pouring down, bringing change. Your healing rain is pouring down, it's bringing change. Yeah. Your healing, your healing rain, your healing rain is pouring down. You're releasing your blessing, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, ah. Healing rain, it's pouring down, it's changing hearts, it's touching now. Oh, healing rain of Jesus of heaven tonight. Woo! Healing rain, it's pouring down. Healing rain, it's all around. Healing rain. Just get in that throne room and get the touch of the Lord. Well, it's healing rain, it's flowing down, it's pouring out, it's all around. Your healing rain. Ah, something special has broken loose here in the spirit. We float deeply in it, Lord, tonight in your presence where there's joy forevermore, joy forevermore, joy forevermore. And I will build my life upon your love. It is my firm foundation. in you alone and I will not be shaken holy there is no one like you there is none beside you open up my eyes in wonder show me
lost all our strength and our might living for you Lord ha, ha. Yeah, living for you living for you oh Lord ha, ha, ha. we're living for you in your name and in your blood living for you Lord I'll never give it up I'll never give it up well we're living for you Lord and you 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 alone Living for, living for, living for you, Lord. Well, this is a night of the deep spirit of the Lord. Man, this is different. This has been different for a couple months than what we've done the last few. Like what Robert Gay, he said, hey, man, I'm sitting here in the presence, man, feeling it totally, resting in Arizona, sitting in his presence is so good, bro. Because check it, you guys. Your love has ravished my heart and taken me over and taken me over and all I want is to be with you forever with you forever your love your love has ravished my heart taken me over and taken me friend Josh Jamison is on here tonight. I want us to lift up Paradise, California, where the fires destroyed. So many people died. It was 80 or 90 or 100. Chico, that whole California area right there. Let's begin to hold up Paradise, that God will sweep in as by His Holy Spirit. I want everybody out of deep worship, start praying. Great awakening and the winds of the spirit, not the winds of natural fire in paradise in Chico, California. Winds of your Holy Spirit, right? We're praying the night paradise, California. We'll see your glory and your reign. Yeah. Paradise in Chico, California. Come on, let's hold it up before the throne of grace. The winds of your spirit and healing rain. So many families lost their loved ones. They're still hurting. We release you. We release your comfort and your healing. God, Paradise Chico, California. It's on the grid right now. Praying, praying, yeah. In the name of Jesus, Father God, winds of your spirit winds of your spirit and healing rain came to chico california 
California Paradise was lifted up Before your throne and hearts and lives were changed Chico in paradise Paradise in Chico, California Come on, are you guys praying? Pray in the spirit if you have a prayer language This is not over yet God, you're there God, you're there in Chico in paradise. It's a real city, God, and you're releasing your healing. You're changing hearts and lives all through the valley, God. In the name of Jesus, Chico. Chico is being healed of the people there. Paradise almost wiped out in the natural, God. Pray it up, you guys. Pray it up in spirit wind. And healing rain in Chico, Lord, yeah. Spirit wind in paradise, California, we call it by name, yeah. This is part of what the Lord wanted us to do tonight. I haven't seen Josh for a while, but on this live stream, God, we hold up paradise. You know what paradise should be, Lord. You know even what paradise California should look like in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Before your throne, we hold Chico in paradise. Before your throne, touch Lord. Touch and heal. We hold up paradise and Chico, California, before the throne of grace. This is their time of need. This is their time of need. It's not over yet, but in you, you bring comfort and healing and change. Keep praying. Paradise. Look it up on a map. If you don't know where it's at, Google it right now. Chico Paradise. Wow. Fresh oil anointing over these two cities. And Josh put it up again. He had a third city name. I couldn't see it. Orville. What? Orville. Was it Orville? So include Orville in it. He named three cities. This is a great friend of ours who flows in worship and the anointing, prays like a champ, people get healed. Him and Melissa, Jesus, and their two sons, woo, woo, Chico, Paradise, Orville, California for your glory. Come on, let's keep praying. A little bit longer in your name, healing rain in Chico. Orville for your glory. Ah, we cry out, holy winds of the Holy Spirit. Holy winds of the Holy Spirit. I can hear it now. The sound of the mighty rushing wind through this section of California. For your glory, God, we call it out. Paradise is feeling the winds of your Holy Spirit. Paradise in Chico Orville Coming alive, coming alive In your spirit Coming alive in your word Well, coming alive in your Keep going, don't stop, man, in the Holy Spirit We're coming alive in, sing it, you're coming alive in the spirit and the word. Coming alive, Chico, paradise, and Orville in your spirit. Coming alive in the word of God. Coming alive. We call out the name, Lord, before you tonight, before you tonight. As we deep worship, we plow the ground with intercession, with deep worship as our covering, as our base.
the Lord. Ezekiel 37, we open the gateway to all three cities' ears to hear the word of the, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Come on, I want you to prophesy what Ezekiel was told by the living God. He said, in the valley of dry bones, Ezekiel, here's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to prophesy, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Huh? Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Hear Chico, Paradise, Orville. Hear the word of the Lord. He opened the gateway. We opened the gateway to the heart there, to the human hearts, God. We open the gateway to their hearing, God. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Paradise, Chico, Orville. Hear the word of things are snapping and changing in the Holy Spirit. Dreams in the night, visions in the day. Dreams in the night and visions in the day. Dreams in the night all over paradise. Chico and Orville, God, we cry out. Hear the word of the Lord now. Well, hear the word of the Lord. We open the gateway to their hearing. Ezekiel 37, verses 4 and 5. You'll find it right there. We're praying right now. We open the gateway to the ears of their heart and even their natural ears to hear the word of promise, the word of comfort, the words of heaven. Here we pray and it is done. Hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the word of promise. Hear the words of life and the words of thanksgiving hear the word of hear the word of the lord over the whole population god peg parker goes hey it's a triangle the trinity showed up i'm, I'm just saying it she said chico paradise and orville are points points of a triangle i know let's go we release the full-blown trinity the power of the trinity in jesus name We say yes, Lord. Winds of the Spirit and their ears will hear the word of the Lord. Jesus, 
I go, man, how did he do that? That's so cool. He wanted to hear his heart beating. And Lord, we pray tonight that we would know the causes that your heart is beating for, Lord. Son of God. Da -da -da -da. Wow, the heart of Jesus. Uh. calls to get people saved. I get it, man. But we need to use it the whole year round. God so loved us. He, Jesus said, yes, I'll lay down my life. I go, Lord, come on now. Oh, uh. Your love has ravished my heart and taken me over taking me over and all I want is to be with you forever wish with you forever do it again your love that word ravished and your love has ravished my heart Taking me over now, now, taking me over, and all I want is to be with you forever, with you forever. This is your song of prayer, and here is your prayer song. me a little closer take me a little deeper I want to know your heart I want to know your heart cause your love is so much sweeter than anything I've tasted I want to know your heart yeah Well, pull me a little closer and take me a little deeper. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. Because your love is so much sweeter than anything I've tasted. And while we're on it, I didn't want to interrupt our intercession over Paradise in Chico, but Lynette Young is alive. It's her birthday. Thank you for the gift, Lynette. But I got to tell you, Lynette was not long for this world. She'll tell you. Uh, that's at least two times, if not three. She, I ended up calling her and just praying in tongues so she would live and not die. 
So Lynette, happy birthday, buddy. She helped me get my first book, Streaming in Heaven's Flow Out, the workbook. Lynette, it's so very special. You're still here. You're interceding for me, for Carla. Lynette knows all my children intimately. Jessica, Matt, and Ariel, she knows many of my grandchildren. Lynette, I'm so glad you're here on this face of this earth. I, I want to say again, I wish her the best happy birthday because she's still here. She didn't give up the fight. She could have checked out. And I want to say it again, man. I prayed in tongues really hard. We just for 10, 12 minutes. I'm not even sure what was totally happening, but it brought life back into her. I mean, Lynette may com com and, uh, comment on it in a minute, but oh my Lord. So I want to make sure on this Saturday night, I keep thinking she's 10 years younger than me, but she's not. Sometimes we wish we were. But Lynette is 63, Carly. You wanna, That's what she said. You want to wish Lynette a happy birthday? You said hello. Hello. Hello, Lynette. Hello. Hello, Lynette. Happy birthday. Just a young girl. <laughs> Just a young girl. <laughs> Well, what we're going to do tonight is I've got four <coughs> simple points. I'm going to have Carla go slow. She's going to comment on them. This is about the Lord said you've got to go back and you've got to proclaim and decree the restoration of the tabernacle of David. Now, we've not really done this before. We're not doing like, you know, four or five verse narration and stuff, but we're going to take our time. If a song comes to my heart, I'm going to sing it. We're going to worship through Amos 9:11. Open your Bibles there. Just one singular scripture tonight. And we're not so much doing narration. Matt said, Dad, why don't you just worship and, you know, put some scripture in there because we love the word. But we don't need to do a full-blown narration every Saturday night and every time we're on. But this, uh, the restored worship shelter, I want to tell you the complete Jewish Bible, actually, the Orthodox Jewish Bible, because I look at all of them. It says, the temporary worship shelter of David, where people spend their time, will be restored. I think you need to hear this. It, it'll be, Carla will get to it in, as she reads tonight, but the temporary worship shelter of David will be restored because that's where people spend their time. See, you guys here, the deep people on Saturday night, all of our streams, not so much just the average American believer, which may be more of an outer court and going to church to fulfill their obligation. See, I did that when I was Catholic. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I did it once, once was enough back in the day. I do this because Jesus saved my life and it's a lifestyle. Worship and intercession is a lifestyle. So if you get your Bibles open to Amos 9-11, because we're gonna call forth. I was just at a conference, the Hope Well Network yesterday on Friday. And they started praying for Africa, and I said, give me the mic. I started calling forth the song of Africa to come to all the nations. I'll probably pray that tonight. Think of that, the song of Africa, some of the most dancing, joyful, um, rhythmic people, which is the continent I've prayed for since I've been spirit-filled, that we call forth the song of Africa. With the restoration of the tabernacle of David, we're calling forth the prophetic worshipers, worship leaders, every nation, every tribe, every tongue. They are the kingdom of priests, the kingdom of priests. We're now engaging, saying, God, sweep through the nations. Bring forth your prophetic worshipers, your prophetic worship leaders. Because from every tribe, tongue, and dialect, that will be the kingdom of priests that are combining praise into prayer and worship into intercession. I'm going to have Carla do the number one, Amos 9-11. And whatever well, I actually to wanted to start with um, when we were praying for Paradise and Chico and Oroville. <clears throat> I felt like I had a word for the Jamesons concerning something that God is going to do there. Be on the lookout for it. He's going to bring about um, people recognizing truth and it's going to be like an epiphany both in the church and in secular society so much so that that area will, will become a beacon wow. for the rest of 
the state of California Jesus, come on. for secular people in that it's going to answer a lot of questions that they've had in their mind and in their heart that no one's had answers for other than God. Wow. It, it will be like a mass epiphany on, on the secular wow. uh, populations yeah. of that area and on the church in that there will come an understanding of how they're to minister and to bring the people into the kingdom of God, how they're to minister to the secular public with truth. Wow. It has to do with truth. Wow. Um, and anyway, one should be on the lookout for it because that's it. When you see it, it's going to be, oh, this is that. You know, this is that. Like on the day of Pentecost when Peter said, this is that, which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Anyway, there's a lot of those coming in the f- wow. near future. A lot of those, this is that's. Because the enemy's going down, um, we just need to hold our ground, and we need to continue to pray and intercede. I want to say it again, in tongues, because I want you to pray it. A mass epiphany. I have never even thought of that phrase. That is from the Holy Spirit. Could you imagine if, like Central California, any region of any state, had a mass epiphany overnight or in, a, in of a morning? Oh my God. So why don't you just pray that? It's going to be like, you know, the truth is going to be told. And instead of instead of the public being skeptical of anything they see or hear, they're going to recognize the truth. And they're going to go, wow, that's the truth. Where have we been? Where have we been living? Oh, that answers this question and that question. And, you know, that makes sense in, in light of this and that. It's just, it's going to be a mass epiphany. And I... Wow. I can't wait to hear about it, you know, because the Lord said it's going to be a beacon, like shining a beacon out of the state of California. That's going to help the the secular uh, societies that that live in California. Wow. Wow. Anyway, I'm not sure where to go right now. <laughs> I want you to pray it. I want you to pray, Father, do this thing now. You spoke the prophetic word. Take us a minute and pray it, and then we'll enter in. Father God, we recognize that you want to do things in this world. And we as your church are your arms and your legs and your voice and your eyes. And we choose to be that in this day, in this hour, God, that we will open our mouths when you give us words to speak. We'll open our eyes when there's something you want us to see. We'll open our ears when there's something you need for us to hear. And we'll just go wherever you send us to go, to whomever you send to Make us sensitive in everyday life, in what we're doing, and not so introspective, and not so you know caught up in, in our own daily lives that we miss the opportunities that are around us, the people that you've you've wow. got ready to hear. You yeah. want you want seed to be sown, you want seed to be watered, you want harvest to be brought in. We say, here we are, God, send us. Send us, Lord, into the harvest fields, because they're ripe for the harvest. And heal our societies, heal our cities, our states there's so many people that need to be healed because they're so confused and they're so disappointed and they have so many unanswered questions so we pray God that you come with your truth your word is truth God there's a lot of things a lot of stuff that men would like to cover up but can't be anymore God Times of revelation are upon us, and you're going to reveal things, and the hidden things wow. that have been hidden won't be hidden anymore, God. Some things are going to be shouted from the housetops, and 
we're entering that time in those days and help us to, to not be afraid of what that means. We can't be afraid, God. When you start uncovering, we can't run and hide and say, oh, I don't want to hear that. I, I can't do that. We're here, God, and we want you to do whatever you need to do. Bring revival to this nation, which is what you plan to do. As long as your church, as long as your ecclesia comes in agreement. We've got to be in agreement, God. As believers, we've got to say yes and amen to everything you say and do. Restore the tabernacle of David in this day. It says in Amos 9-11, on that day. What day is that? That day. On that day. That day is whatever day it is we choose yes. to come in alignment with what God wants to do in the earth. And he wants to restore and raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down. He wants to repair its damages. He wants to raise up its ruins. And he wants to rebuild it as in the days of old. In that time, warmest hours of the day, will I raise up the Sukkot Dovid, temporary worship shelter where people spend their time. And let me sing it. Your presence leads the way. Worship in intercession, Lord. Oh, your presence leads the way. In the midst of our worship and intercession, your presence leads the way. In our worship, intercession, It's th three R's, get it. Yeah, you'll repair the damages. Tabernacle of David, you raise up its ruins. You rebuild it. The tabernacle of David as of old. Yeah. Three R's, repair, raise up, and rebuild. I want you to get those in your spirit. I'm going to sing it. Keep going. We say the restoration of the place where people love to spend their time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, your presence leads the way in the midst of our worship and intercession. Yes, Lord, your presence leads the way in the midst of our worship and intercession. Oh, your presence leads the way. Woo! In the midst of our worship and intercession, yes, your presence leads the way. Yeah. Oh, we're plowing the ground with worship and intercession. Yeah, your presence leads the way. In the midst of our worship and intercession, oh, your presence leads the way God in the midst of our worship and intercession your presence leads the way yes it does in the midst of our worship and intercession oh your presence yes your presence this is why the restoration of the tabernacle of David it actually is four R's if you start with that, the title. But Amos 9-11 says, you repair its damages. You raise up its ruins. And you rebuild it as in the days of old. There's going to be power released at this restoration of the tabernacle of David. You repair the damages done, God, and you raise up its ruins, Lord. Yeah. You rebuild this tabernacle as in the days of old, the days of old. Yeah. You repair the damages, God. You raise it up. 
you raise it up the restoration of the tabernacle of david you rebuilding it in all the nations all the nations will see and know all the nations will see and know your presence in the spirit of worship oh your presence in the spirit of worship lord oh your presence your conquering presence in the spirit of worship every nation will know right before I looked at the what I'm going to be reading I saw I saw people like bowed over or like where their shoulders were slumped and they were hanging their heads very much in despair and as I was looking at that I, the Lord said this is what I want to do they lift their head if you will lift your head up he'll put a a rod of steel right down your spine he'll he'll stand you back up this is what it says here it it is what he's been doing during our lifetime repair in the Hebrew repair means stand back up establish set up again, bring back, cause to come back on the scene. So <clears throat> he'll give you strength as long as you keep your eyes on him wow. that you'll be able to do anything he calls you to do without hesitation. He will raise up, uh, be erecting that which has been destroyed, demolished, oh cause God. it to exist again and to come forth resurrection is here so if what if how we're praying and what we're praying for our nations for our leadership if when the church prevails I'm not going to say if the church when the church prevails and we see tur things turning around it's going to be up to the church to lead it's going to be up to God's people to, to get on the on the wall and to or to, to be the gatekeepers that say no that's not coming in that's that's been put out and it's not coming back again Jesus and they put their foot down and they just say no it's not happening because we as the ecclesia of God we agree as the gatekeepers of our cities and our towns and our states and our nation so we can see God move in a mighty way among the people and we can see you know people that have been manipulated for decades by the enemy because basically we let them the church let them be manipulated because we didn't want to get involved in politics or we didn't want to get involved in anything like that. But God's saying, if you're going to be my voice, and you're going to be my hands, and you're going to be my feet, then you better change your mind right now. Change your mind, get on board. Let's got to get ready to move. Kent sang it years ago, get on the freedom train. <laughs> You know, on the freedom train. Because we're going to rebuild. We're going to make valid again to confirm all over to build this house, especially to obtain children for the tabernacle of David. So repair. You stand it back up again, Lord. The tabernacle of David. These are all the Hebrew word definitions. You establish it again. You set it up all over God. You're bringing it back on the scene. You're bringing it back on the scene. Like only you can do. You're bringing it back on the scene. You 
repair the tabernacle of David. You raise it up. That which has been destroyed, you raise it up. Even though it's been demolished, oh, you raise it up. You're causing it to exist again. It's the restoration of the tabernacle of David. It's the restoration of the tabernacle of David, David. Give that word, you raise it up. You erect it again, that which has been demolished and destroyed. You restore, you raise it up again. You're causing it to come into existence again it's coming back on the scene that's what it said coming back on the scene in the nations your presence leads the way oh in worship and intercession you erect it again lord you raise it up that which has been demolished you in the Hebrew you make it valid again literally it says you rebuild you're making prayer and worship and intercession so valid again oh you make it valid again and you confirm all over the power of what you do the power in the restoration of the tabernacle of David and there it is there it is there it is yeah even the children will pray even the children will worship they'll be a part of this resurrection and this restoration of the tabernacle of David the children are coming the children do come of the tweeners and the teenagers even the millennials are coming Lord to the restoration of worship prayer and intercession the restoration of deep worship wow think about it the restoration of prayer and intercession the restoration of deep worship is coming to every nation not just america but this is a restoration of the tabernacle of david so summarizing the spirit of the tabernacle of david why david well david understood that in order to rule and to reign over god's people the foremost thing that had to happen was he had to bring the presence of God back to Israel. And he went out and he got the Ark of the Covenant and he brought it back and he put it in the tabernacle because he knew he wouldn't be able to do anything, even as king, even as powerful as he was, as, as, as popular as he was, as king he knew and he went out and he got the ark and he brought the presence of God back to Israel. And we as the church, this is what we need to do in restoring the tabernacle is bringing the presence of God back to our countries, back to this world, back to this nation. So many have turned their back on, on him, but we need to manifest the presence of God in this earth. He was the king of Israel's government and he proclaimed the kingdom to the Gentiles. So, you know, David never split hairs concerning how he was ruling and reigning. He knew it was by God's ordination, God. and he let the people know that. God's ordained me to do this. And so many of us out there are, are running from our ordination. What has wow. God ordained you to do? Wow. And do it. You know, if you're if you're in the marketplace, then speak up in the marketplace. If you're in government, for God's sake, do something in the realm of, of righteous law. 
if you're in in uh, academia t stop teaching lies put your foot down and say no I, I won't teach that that's not truth change the systems we've got it we've got seven mountains out there we have to conquer and first one is religion because let's face it God's word said judgment begins in his house in the house of the Lord so the first mountain that needs to be conquered is the mountain of religion we've got to cast out the religious spirits and we see them all over the place oh my god people out there saying oh I can't vote for somebody like Donald Trump just listen to what he says well I'm sorry but he's standing on the only platform that we as Christians can agree with whether you like him or not so you know if you having problems with that you know go before the Lord and say God do I have a religious spirit here it's almost like racism you know it's it's crazy what you see but anyway we need to take those mountains and we need to stop running away from our ordinations got to get bold bolder we get the more God can be manifested in our midst this is a forerunner ministry we're doing worship as a forerunning ministry doing prayer as a forerunning ministry like John the Baptist we'll prepare the way of the Lord we're doing worship as a forerunning ministry, doing prayer and intercession as a forerunning ministry. This is what the Lord desires, it's what His intention was. We're doing worship as a forerunning ministry, doing worship like John the Baptist. Prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way the Lord worship prayer and intercession is a type of forerunner ministry get that in your mind and your heart we prepare the way of the Lord worship is part of a forerunning ministry prayer and intercession is a forerunner ministry the gatekeepers and the worshipers and I Worship is a forerunner ministry. Intercession is a forerunner ministry. Like John the Baptist, we prepare, we prepare the way of the Lord. What? We prepare, we prepare the way of the Lord. And I, 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 I. We prepare, we prepare the way of the Lord. I want you to hear it again. Carla's been talking about the gatekeepers. We're gatekeepers and worshipers and intercessors all balled up into one because this is the current forerunner ministry that John the Baptist did. Prepare the way of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. It's on the tip of our tongue. We prepare the way of the Lord. The restoration of the tabernacle of David is also a forerunning ministry. I love that. Na, 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 na. It's gatekeepers, worshipers, and intercessors. Forerunner ministry. It's worshipers, gatekeepers, and intercessors. Yeah. Forerunner ministry. Yeah. Gatekeepers, worshipers, intercessors, forerunner ministry. Yeah. The restoration, the rebuilding, the repair, the raising up of the tabernacle of David. 
the tabernacle of David. It's going to call the nations into prophetic worship. It'll cause the kingdom of priests to come forth, the restoration. We've got one last section to do. Oh, I love this one. The prayer in the spirit of the tabernacle of David. Prayer that is led by prophetic worship, i.e. by singers and musicians flowing in a prophetic spirit. Read it again, Carla. God. Prayer that is led by prophetic worship, i.e. by singers and musicians flowing in a prophetic spirit. And I love this next part, 1 Chronicles 25.1 the musicians it says moreover david and the captains of the army do you understand what that's saying david who was the king and the general leading the troops took the captains of the army and made them worshipers He didn't make them gladiators, even though they could do that. He made them worshipers because David knew what had to come first in all warfare, in all life. He knew what had to come first. And and the adoration of God was the first thing that had to happen. And he set it up for 24 hours a day, seven days a week with the priesthood and the captains of the army. Separated for the service, some of the sons of Asaph, of Heman, and of Jejethun, who should prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, and cymbals. The sons of Asaph were under the direction of Asaph, who prophesied wow. according to the order of the king. And also, I didn't put it in, we didn't have enough room, they prophesied as the king's seers with Jejethun and, and uh, uh, was it Asa? But just so you know, the prophetic spirit is totally engaged in the restoration or the tabernacle of David, period. I want you to hear it. I mean, people are commenting on it right now. This is the beginning. Prophetic worship is arising again like a flood, like an ocean. Prophetic worship is rising again. Like at the very beginning, Lord, we'll prophesy on our instruments and be like the king's seers singing the songs of the king the songs of our king prophetic worship prophetic worship and singers and musicians are rising to play rising to sing rising to play yeah. prophetic worship is rising again Prophetic worship is rising again, yeah. The restoration, the restoration of the tabernacle of David. Prophetic worship is rising again. Prophetic worship leaders, prophetic worship singers and musicians playing under the king's anointing, yeah. Well, prophetic worship is rising again. Prophetic worship is arising, rising. Come on, prophesy. Sing it with me as a prophecy. Yeah. Prophetic worship. Well, prophetic worship is rising again. Prophetic singers and musicians are rising again out of all the nations begin to call for the song of Africa the song of Argentina I want you to begin to call out prophetic worship leaders from every nation what nation is on your heart tonight the prophetic singers are there 
they're coming for it. The prophetic musicians are there coming forth. In the midst of Germany and France, God, there's prophetic worshipers. You're bringing them forth. Oh, the kingdom of priests is coming forth from every nation. I said the kingdom of priests is coming forth from every... Come on, pray. Before we close out our stream tonight, uh, prophetic worship, prophetic worshipers is rising from every nation. I said prophetic worship, prophetic worship leaders and singers are coming forth in every nation, Lord. Come on, pray it and say it out loud. Prophesy over the nations. What nations are you praying for right now? Call forth the prophetic singers and music. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come under the king's anointing. They're singing the things they're seeing in the spirit of the Lord. Prophetic worshipers are arising from every nation. Prophetic singers and worshipers are rising in every nation. Come on, keep going for a few minutes on it, my God. Yeah. Prophetic worship leaders, come forth. Prophetic singers, I call you forth as the kingdom of priests. Uh, 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 this is my job, man. I'm a senior veteran worship leader saying, come on, boys and girls. Come on, teenagers, millennials, 20s and 30 year Get out. Come on out into your prophetic calling, prophetic worship, prophetic singing underneath the king's anointing. King Jesus this time. Not under King David, but King Jesus. No, 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 no. The songs of the Lord. The songs of heaven too. Check this. The songs of the Lord. They're singing the songs of heaven too. They hear the king's heart. They're singing the songs of the Lord. And they're singing the songs of heaven too. Here they are, here they are, coming forth, coming forth, coming forth, raising them up, Lord, yeah. Call them out, every tribe, tongue, and nation. Prophetic worship, prophetic singing, yeah. Every tribe, tongue, and nation is singing the king's songs under that anointing every tribe tongue and they come forth right now you worshipers you prophetic worship leaders and singers musicians uh, every tribe tongue and nation yeah. every tribe tongue and nation come forth in the name in the name in the name I just wanted to remind everybody that the Word of God says that He surrounds us with songs of deliverance. And so I just want to encourage you. I actually I want to give you an exercise to do that when you find yourself in a situation where you really need the deliverance of God or you need something from Him concerning a situation. See what song comes floating up out of your spirit. Just take a second and kind of get in touch with your spirit man and see what's what comes floating up out of there. What's God saying? What's He singing over you at that moment or the person you may be ministering to? It's the prophetic song we're talking about. And sometimes those songs are songs we know. And sometimes they're scriptures that we know that he wants to put to a melody. So just, that's an exercise I'm going to throw out there for y'all. Just go inside and get 
touch with the spirit and say, see what song comes floating up out of your spirit. And tonight we close with a massive song. I stand in awe of you. What a night. Wow, this is a little different, but very powerful. Deep worship and intercession. Are you kidding me? Well, this brings pleasure to the heart of our Savior and our Redeemer. In the name, in the name, in the name. Because you are beautiful beyond description. Come on with me now. We'll finish up. To marvel. <laughs> the hearts are flying, bro. Too wonderful for comprehension Like nothing ever seen or heard Who can grasp your infinite wisdom, Lord? Who can fathom the depths of your love you are beautiful beyond description majesty enthroned above and I stay i 
This is the never-ending worship song. <laughs> I taught my revolution school students the worship leading school. There's no cool way to get out of the deep. You just go to the next spot in the road. <laughs> yeah, I could go a couple more hours on it, and that's going to happen some night. <laughs> but I'm going to hand off to Matt. I, again, I want to thank you for your support. Um, it's been super natural what the Lord has done since March 19th. President Trump shut down the nation March 17th. That's a date of infamy to me. And they've already said they would never do it again like that because rural areas didn't need to do all that stuff. New York City was a mess. There's no certain places were, but, but I'm very grateful because since March 19th, through your support, me and Matt and Carla Ray Henry are in full-time ministry. I am starting to go back out some, but not nearly what I was doing before. So I want to personally say thank you this Saturday night for all the support. We've had a couple larger gifts come in and really appreciate that from our friends. It's getting us down the road. This is not a joke, man, because you guys have sponsored and supported this ministry. We're going to the nations with the word of God. I'd like to know where you could go find out what happened tonight, Matt, because the restoration of the tabernacle of, Napoli, the tabernacle of David is part of my calling to call forth a kingdom of priests from every nation, and so it's yours as well. Matt, how you doing today, buddy? Yes, amen and amen. Thank you guys for joining us for Seeking Soaking Saturday night. It is such a pleasure to be with you all tonight. Like he said, singing and praying over the restoration of the Tabernacle of David together, worshiping together. Um, like he said, it's been amazing what the Lord has done in these months that uh, this pandemic hit for us. It's been amazing to see him provide in massive ways as we are a ministry that, you know, was mainly on travel and that all shut down. And uh, just to see what his hand has done, bringing us with all this equipment to even be at this spot to share these wow. things with you and be a part in this way. It's just a beautiful thing to us, and we enjoy doing it five days a week with you all. And that's what you're helping to support in these times that we do right at the end of the video. We are a worship online prophetic prayer community, a training center where we're, we have big plans to do more and more as the Lord leads. And so if you want to support what we're doing here tonight, you can do that through our website, chmin.org for Carriage House Ministries or through kenthenry.com, which you can see on your screen. If you click on that donations button, it'll take you to the donations page where you can click on any of these buttons. You can be a monthly supporter. You can do one-time donation. You can do the 12 campaign. All right here from the website, this is one of the best ways to do it where we get the most out of it, give lively processes at all, just like everything else that you do online. But if you're not for that and you like doing checks, this is an amazing way as well. Just scroll down on that screen. You'll see where to send the check to, who to make it out to. And you know you know who you are if you've done that. Uh, it really has made all the difference. This is a month to month thing for us. We, As the Lord uh, gives to us, we do as he pleases and as he asks us to do. And this is what we're doing. And 
uh, you guys are helping to make all this happen for real. There is no coffer of money that we all just sit on and just ho hope that more and more comes in. It's exactly what he wants to give us. It gets delivered and each and every month it's doing it that way. And so we're so blessed to be a part of it. Um, if you want to give by check, you see right there. You can also jump over to our store, check out all the 40 years of worship products that are available there. That is supporting the ministry as well when you purchase those. And there's also ways to give right here. Sign up for your 20% off when you're the first time shopper with us because uh, we want you guys to get as much as you can. Give it away. Uh, holidays are coming up. Giving Tuesday will be coming up. We'll be talking a little bit more about that as well. Uh, as the year-end giving comes in, we'd love for you to uh, prayerfully consider, always prayerfully consider what the Lord puts on your heart. We always say that here because he knows what he wants to funnel through who and how. And so uh, check it out. If you want to do PayPal, you're a PayPal user. You can do paypal.me slash chmin or at symbol chmin inside of the app. If you're searching for us, that's how you can find us and give right here through PayPal. For all you Facebook friends, we have the uh, uh, Facebook fundraiser set up. Check the pin in the comments like usual. Uh, whether you're watching this later, on the, it's all the same. Pinned in the comments, you'll see all these links where you can jump on and, and support us right here. Facebook. We also have uh, comments or the stars in the comments section. You can buy those in bulk. You can give those in whatever amount you want. They're one cent a piece. You can give them to other ministries and other streamers. All sorts of folks out here can receive these. So check that out if you're not familiar with that. If you're a YouTube friend that's on right now, Super Chat is their way of giving it that way. There's a little dollar sign just like Lynette did earlier. Thank you, Lynette, for giving us a gift on your birthday. It's kind of backward, but we, uh, we appreciate it and we love it. Thank you for being out there and prayerfully supporting us all the time. Uh, Lynette is amazing at that. Um, if you want to give through text giving, you can do that CHM give to 44321 or give 12 in the message box to 44321. Thank you to Anonymous who gave $4 through this platform uh, not too long ago. Looks like a day ago. Again, big amount, small amount, it doesn't matter. Whatever the Lord is putting on your heart, we use it all for his glory, A dollar fifty cents, Whatever you can give, it helps us get down the road. It helps us try to reach that 360 per stream. Another way you can do that is through the Smile program. If you're shopping on Amazon, use the Smile program because it will give a half percent of all the things you put in your cart to a nonprofit of your choice. Kent Henry Ministries is the 501c3 that's available that can receive these gifts. And uh, we want to be connected in any way we can. We want these videos to go out for free like they always have been. It is our heart that it would be this way, that anyone who would find this content would be able to enjoy it, share it, Get it out there for the Word of God. We've been doing the Psalms. We've been doing Proverbs. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. And we think it's hugely important that the Word of God is lifted high in this hour and that His bride is raised up as well to become all that she should be for Him to return. And so we love being with you guys. S worshiping tonight has been amazing. We will be back live Monday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So be sure to join us back for this upcoming Monday. Let some new people know we're here. I know that these algorithms algorithms on these platforms aren't loving us these days. So uh, please help us out by liking, sharing, whatever platform you're on, like and share and uh, just get the word out that we're here five days a week. We want to connect with as many friends as possible and see this thing grow in uh, amazing ways. So until then, be blessed, guys. We will see you Monday, 4 p.m. Be blessed.